the rock on dudes so anyway um so then they try to uh, get the crown but they have to get passed through the uh crown guard played by Stephen Steve Coogan and it's this uh, comically old uh, senile dude apparently um the despicable me uh, 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 apparently the, the, the despicable me franchise uh, is known for having a um having old British characters being voiced by not old British people. That's weird that they keep doing that. But anyway, yes, yeah, so they get the crown, whatever. Uh, I, I don't remember how. Oh, that's right, they, 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 they steal it from Queen Elizabeth herself. And then the shenanigans ensue. Uh, they have this huge, you know, chariot uh, uh, chasing scene amongst London, right out of something out of like the latest Assassin's Creed video game. And then they, and then, and then, and then uh, Bob pulls the sword out of the frickin' Excalibur or whatever the fuck that's called. And, then, and how do, that, that came out of fucking nowhere, but, it, but it's in the movie, so there you go. So now he's frickin' king. Um, I guess that's what would happen if it happened in real life. I guess that's the rules in England, I guess, is if you pull the sword out of the stone, um, you become king all of a sudden, like, screw that other person, screw, uh, Queen Elizabeth. Hey, someone should write that down, or write that in my notes. I'll do it now! There, I did it. So anyway, um, so, so, so now they're living life of luxury, uh, 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 Stuart is wearing a thong, creeping everyone out, and he's trying to fuck, um, a bunch of, uh, She's trying to fuck a bunch of uh, fire hydrants for some reason. Hey, hey, man, I don't judge, like I said before. But then Scarlet Overkill returns and she's freaking pissed. Like, hey, hey, you were supposed to give me the crown, not give it to your fucking self. And drop the mic before dropping the mic was a thing. Apparently, we owe that to the minions. Thank you, minions. So, uh, so, um, so, uh, the minions decide, okay, okay, we, 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 like we said before, we serve you. Oh, by the way, the minions don't speak English, they speak like some kind of weird combination of all different types of languages. So, like, oh, I'm really bad at trying to, uh, you know, uh, trying to embody that. Shut up! So anyway, um, so so they give over the crowd because, you know, they're trying to be loyal minions. But Scarlet Overkill is not being a loyal master. No, she's being a bitch. She's, 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 she's putting them into a dungeon and she wants them to freaking die. She's like, okay, thanks he gave me the crown and thanks for reciting the hey, hey, we're the monkeys, but fuck you. I, I, I'm going to make sure you guys freaking die and I'm going to make sure that John Hamm kills you with all these types of, uh, of, 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 of horrible of weapons. So, so screw it to you guys, and that makes me very disappointed in Scarlet Overkill. Because even though, you know, we are super villains and we're all about destroying things and killing people and whatnot, we need to have a code, you know? We still need to have a code. We still need to have some form of, you know, civilry, you know, amongst the villains. Villainous civilry. And so, if your minions are going to be loyal to you, you need to be loyal to your minions. And I feel like that, that is not what Scarlet Overkill is doing. They need a new master. Oh, wait a minute, I just re remembered that this is prequel to Despicable Me. Anyway, um, but that's, but at least it makes you confident that they will eventually get what they're looking for. But first they have to do a climax where, um, where, 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 where they call the other minions who are too busy having a fun time with a bunch of yetis from Monsters, Inc. But then they're like, oh no, we pissed off the yetis by killing another frickin' character. Good Jesus Christ, this movie is filled with deaths after death. I mean, I'm not gonna put, I probably, we're probably not gonna put this in the, uh, the end of Summer Memorial because no major character died, just a bunch of random one-offs. But anyway, so, uh, but anyway, so they escape, and they and, and uh, so they escape uh, into the sewers and befriend a rat for whatever reason, and, uh, and 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 they try to make it up to Scarlet Overkill, but then they fuck it up and they almost freaking kill her right as she's about to be crowned. So she's like, "Hey, fuck you guys! Hey, all of my villain super villainous followers, go freaking get get them!" 
get them all so we see all of these super villains from the con return and uh, Michael Keaton is still you know loyal to me he's like one minions run one minions run this world is not made for you one minions run they're gonna catch you one minions run so they're running for their lives and there's all these different super villains all based on horror movie villains and I'm pretty sure one is based on it's played by Nigel Thornberry who currently has a stroke and they're all trying to freaking kill them and and, 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 and super villains uh, uh, apprehend two of the minions but not Kevin that our protagonist Kevin, he is still uh, has escaped. So so he goes uh, to this bar, you know, probably to get his little yellow ass drunk. But it turns out that uh, instead of him getting drunk, it's the Queen. She's getting her ass drunk, you know, and doing uh, bar fights and stuff. And she's actually pretty much holding her own. Like, hey, I have to tip my hat over to you, uh, former Queen of England. And, and, but, but then it's shown on the TV that Scarlet Overkill is looking for Kevin. And if he does, and, and if Kevin doesn't give himself up, he's gonna kill Bob and Stuart. Jesus Christ! Can they even die? What does Minion Blood even look like? I, I bet it's like I bet it looks like honey. I, 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 I bet that's what it looks like. I don't know why I went to that place, but I did, goddammit. So anyway, um, so whatever for whatever reason, Kevin goes over back to uh to uh, John Hamm's uh, gadget lair because I forgot to mention that John Hamm was a freaking gadget guy on, and, 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 and he stumbles upon one gadget that turns Kevin into a giant kaiju! Yes! Oh, right when I was afraid that we were gonna, you know, uh, break the streak of kaiju film after kaiju film each year, you know, what with Pacific Rim in 2013 and then uh, Godzilla in 2014, but wait a minute, there was no kaiju film this year. I mean, we could, you know, kind of, you know, count in Jurassic Park, but no, screw that! This is the kaiju film of 2015! The motherfucking minions! So you got giant Kaiju Kevin running amok, you know, but he's not, you know, doing it on purpose. You know, he's he's he's, he's, he's doing his best, but anyway. So um so Scarlet Overkill is about to explode Bob and, and Stuart. Bob Stewart and um but but, but then uh, she sees, you know, one of a giant ass uh the, giant ass Kevin. Also, the other minions are here too having tea parties, but then they're like, oh, hey, guys! Hey! I, I just realized, hey, Kevin's a freaking giant now! And so, uh, and so now we have the climactic battle of all uh, the Scarlet Overkill trying to freaking blow up, um, the, the Kevin, and they do! They fly up into the sky along with, uh, John Hamm and, and you know, in uh, Scarlet Overkill's uh, the majestic arms, but then, but also, uh, Kevin eats them while they're trying to fly away, uh, Kevin, and they all explode in, in, in the sky. Oh my god, they had the balls to kill off a minion. Oh man, I didn't know this wasn't like a Don Bluth film, Jesus fucking Christ. So now all the minions are sad because the only minion who is brave enough to um, to propose this expedition is now dead. Oh wait a minute, there he is over there. Oh yay, he made it and he is wearing and he's wearing his tidy whities Oh how 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 come his uh how Okay, first of all, not only did his gloves and boots and goggles shrink back, but not his, but not his overalls, not his denim overalls for some whatever reason. Also, how the fuck is that explosion? They shrink him back. Oh, who, who the fuck cares? This is a movie about little yellow pill guys who either have one or two eyes. Well, why the fuck should I bring logic into this? Anyway, so they're all happy now, and they could be, and, and, and they give the crown back to Elizabeth. They're like, there you go, Elizabeth, there's your crown. And so they all get their presents out of, like a new guitar and a snow globe and a crown for a teddy bear and a, whatever the fuck else. Oh, oh yes, also a Bob keeps the rat as his pet. And then I, at first I was thinking, wait a minute, how come that rat is not in Despicable Me? Oh, that's right, because that rat eventually died because rats cannot live over 40 years. I'm sorry, to, you know, uh, I, I, we're bringing down the crowd, but it, 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 it's, it's real life. That's the truth. Rats die quickly. So anyway, um, 
Sorry, Brad, but anyway. But then, uh, Bill Nye, the not science guy, realizes, wait a fucking minute, we forgot what the whole point of this movie was. Them finding a villain. So, um, so all of a sudden, the crown is stolen once again, and once again, the perpetrator is Scarlet Overkill. Turns out she freaking survived that blast. Her and, uh, John Hamm, and they're freaking running away like, Hey, we're just gonna keep this crown. We're gonna keep, we're, we're taking away this crown. And there's no other reason why we're doing this than other to make a big shocking reveal at the end of the twist payoff for this whole movie that was building up to, Holy oh, shit, we're frozen! And who is the person who committed the freeze way? It's Gru! I am Gru! Yes, Gru did it! He fucking did it! And finally we get to see Gru in all his greatness, in all his pre message greatness, might I add. And the audience, of course, who, uh, you know, have grown up with the Despicable Me movies, of course, know who this is. So they were cheering in the theater. My god, that is the loudest I've ever seen a crowd cheer for an ugly person. So Groot takes away the crowd from Scarlet Overkill and is like, Yeah, I, even though I'm a boy, I'm still voiced by Steve Carell. And so he goes into his hover bike with that little dog, mutant doggy. So apparently one of the mutations of that doggy is that he can friggin' live long past the expected life uh, span of a dog. You're, where do you go, dog? You're friggin' immortal like the minions are. And so the minions are like, oh my gosh, that's it. That is the super villain we are destined to be a boss of. Screw you, Scarlet Overkill, let's all run after Gru! And so, the movie ends with, um, with, uh, Bill Nye, the not-science guy, saying, That's it! That's how it was done! That is how the story ends! That it was not meant, that was probably not interesting enough to tell, but we told it anyway, of how the minions met their super-villain master, who is despicable! And that's the movie, everybody! Also, you know, every now and then they in interrupt the credits with doing a bunch of random mis 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 misfits and shenanigans from the Minions. But they do that in every movie. So that's Minions, everybody! That is the movie Minions. And, um... And, 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 and as I said before, even though we did not have to have a prequel discussing the origins of the movie, you can understand why, and you might think it's because of money, but I choose to think that it's because these little guys are a little bit of a gust of fresh air, you know, when you got your depressing movies about depression and uncomplicated stuff. You know, the Minions were always about comic relief. But was this movie successful in doing a whole, you know, a whole film dedicated to just the comic reliefs instead of having, like, actual morals and shit? And I think it did that pretty well. We saw a little bit of character development in the Minions, but it wasn't like it was, you know, in our faces. It was very subtle, you know, the way the Minions treated each other, you know, like, us, you know, Kevin clearly cared about Bob and wanted what was best for him, you know, was like, kind of like a parent, like a little big brother of, for Bob, of, you know, big brother of Bob, and, you know, Bob, you, you know, just wanted to prove himself, and, and Kevin, and, and Stuart was just a retard, but whatever, he was, he, he was a likable retard. Also, don't get off my, on my back about that. I'm sorry I, it was a random choice word, but anyway, so, um, so yeah, there, there are characters, you know, they did have distinguishing character traits to them. Well, at least just these three, not, not, not the other minions. They, they're all friggin' the same for all, for all I know. But anyway, um, but at least we got some character stuff with them. So, um, and, and, you know, in, at the end of the day, you're not really coming to a movie called Minions. Or you, you know, considering what that uh, title entails now, you're not you're not going to a movie for character development or or you know having more. You're just going there to have a good time, and that's what this uh, movie brought was some good uh, happy shenanigans of uh, of uh, doopy doopy weirdness. So you know, this is this is the same type of good that the uh, recent SpongeBob movie was. So uh, I give this movie a uh, bravo. Three and a half out of five, uh, uh, should I say bananas? 
Should I say bananas? Hmm, should I say bananas? Oh, no, no. Okay, fine, bananas. There you go. Are you happy, minions? God damn it. So, anyway, um, so, uh, so, so yes, uh, this has made me realize that if I want to be a successful supervillain like Gru, then I need to have my own minions too. So, I've already ordered them off, off of a magazine, and they should be here any minute. Oh, oh, I hear the door right now! There they are! Oh, I can't wait to open up the box and, and, and enjoy my minions! I'm gonna be the best supervillain ever now that I have minions! Oh, oh no! Oh no, George! I'm sorry, George! I'm sorry! I didn't know this would happen! I pet them too hard, George! I pet them too hard! I killed them, George! Please don't shoot me in the back of the head while I think of a farm, George! I'm sorry, George!